Paul Reed Smith makes some of the most amazing instruments in the entire world as far as the playability, the craftsmanship, the feel of them, the actual sounds that come out of them, and not to mention the looks on top of all of that make these a very desirable package for many guitar players. However, depending on the color that you purchase from a core line that uses the organic dyes, it may be prone to fading, meaning this gorgeous purple might turn to a raspberry, a regular whale blue, that might turn into almost a sand natural color. So today, we're gonna to be talking about three ways that you can prevent your Paul Reed Smith guitar from fading. But before we get started, there are two things that need to be kept in mind here. First of all, if you're looking at a Paul Reed Smith SE, none of this information is going to apply to you. Those are not going to fade. They do not use the same organic dyes found in the newer S2s or the core line instruments. The second is you might be somebody that doesn't mind if your guitar loses a little bit of color or even all of it, you might find it endearing and part of the journey. If you're one of those people, that's cool. This video is just informational for everybody else who wants to protect the finish. And now we can get started. The first thing that you can do to prevent fading of a Paul Reed Smith guitar happens before you ever make the purchase, and that is identifying which colors are prone to fading, mainly anything that will have the color blue involved with the dye. Aquamarine Burst, Northern Lights, Charcoal Purple Burst, Blue Mateo, Royal Blue. There's a plethora of colors that may be more prone to fading. A simple search on Reverb or on the PRS guitar forums will show you some examples of what can happen if you leave these guitars out in direct sunlight or even in lighting like this in a room where there is no direct sunlight but there is other light around it. So colors like red, colors like orange, colors like yellow, bursts that are dark, black, elephant gray, those are all really solid choices for guitars that are much less likely to fade than a blue. And definitely, if they are going to fade, fade much, much, much slower than a blue finish would. But what if you're stubborn like I am and you just have to have a finish that has blue in it? When I saw this charcoal purple burst McCarty, I knew it was the guitar for me. What do you do then? Or what if you already own a color that has blue on it, you'll love it, and you're worried about the finish fading then? The second thing that you can do might be a little boring. You might not be able to see the guitar so much. You have to put it in its case whenever you're not using it. I have a little system right now we're going to be showing you on the camera here. I play this guitar at night primarily and then when I'm done with it I bring it back into that little room hit it with some polish to make sure that any dirt and grime is off of the strings the back of the neck from any sweat that might have drawn into it and then obviously on the actual face of the guitar itself I put it in I close the case I leave the room I turn the lights off and that's that. But what do you do if you're somebody who likes having the guitar out within arm's reach and visible to you in your music area? Sometimes for me, when I'm just sitting down and I have an idea in my head for something and I haven't had a guitar picked out for it yet, I'll just look around and whatever guitar that I feel will match it or inspires me to pick it up, that's the one I'm going to go to. And unfortunately for this guitar, because it does live in that little room in its case, it's not as frequently that this is the one that is chosen, then what? At that point, you really don't have too many options. You can accept the fact that the guitar is eventually going to fade over time, hang it up on the wall, put it on a stand, just forget about it and deal with it as it comes and enjoy it as it ages. Or if you wanna leave it out and have a little bit more protection for it, you could put it in a rack similar to what I have right here and potentially cover the side of it with a cloth or something like that so less sunlight is going to get to it. But none of that is what I decided to do and the third potential option. Now this is a bit of a risk. I'm not exactly sure how effective this is going to be, but it's a risk I am willing to take. A few months ago, I had in a friend's PRS hollow body one guitar for a little bit of electrical work. He happens to be a craftsman. So I called him about two weeks ago. I pitched him the idea of building a custom display case for this with a UV blocking window because this guitar deserves a much, much, much nicer display. If you're gonna go that route, then something you could order off at Amazon or Wayfair or something like that. I did briefly kind of explore those options, but I wanted something special because this is a special guitar and it deserves it. So today is the day. He's gonna be dropping this thing off. We're gonna be mounting it on the wall. We're gonna be taking a look at it.
Now, I knew my friend Jay was an absolute professional, but I did not expect it to come out this good. There's something about this, man. I think it's just screaming PRS. You look closely here, you'll see this is Curly Maple. He actually saves this for special projects on top. And considering that, you know, many Paul Reed Smith guitars are infamous for having beautiful Curly Maple on them, I think it's a really good fit. I love the attention to detail when you open it up. He used his own McCarty to custom shape the actual pocket for the bottom, even for the pen, for the strap, or for the strap pin right there, and then a little bit there for the input jack. Everything is sized perfectly. This is as good as I'm gonna get here. Now, when it comes to the actual fading part, which is what this video is about, this is kind of an experiment. This is UV protective uh, glass, the highest grade that he could possibly find to it. There is no direct sunlight that's ever gonna hit this car guitar, but I'm not gonna be positive until the long haul here of if it's gonna fade or not. The good news is, if it begins to fade, I'm gonna catch it pretty quick, and you know, I'll take it out and we'll go back to the case thing, or maybe I'll just accept it for what it is. However, the guitar is out now, it's become a centerpiece of this room, and a guitar that looks like this, of this quality, it definitely deserves it, so I have very little regrets. And that's two surefire ways to prevent a PRS from fading and one that may or may not work. And this is a gamble I'm absolutely willing to take. If you like the content on this channel, if you have any further questions about this kind of thing that we had built, I can help with specs and stuff like that. And potentially what we were talking about doing later on down the road here, since I have so many different guitar body styles, getting them actually cut correctly so he has a template so potentially we can make more of them but with the way that the market is going and will cost the materials who knows if that's going to be something that's reasonable in the near future but it's a nice thing to keep in the back of our minds here comment like subscribe and i'll see you on the next video take it easy everybody